If you click on this video, then you already know that most people don't like the new Joker movie. Now, I say the words don't like, but mainly I think that people just don't think it's as good as it should have been. Now, last movie, the Joker killed five people, and we see his descent into madness. And at the end of the movie, he kills someone on live television. They catch him, they put him in the back of a cup car, the car crashes, and he ends up putting back on his Joker makeup with blood. You get the impression in the next movie, this guy is going to be completely a lunatic. But for some reason, they decided to turn it into a musical. Okay. I mean, as long as it's done right, I guess. I mean, I have no idea why they decided to go that route, but I mean, Lady Gaga did hold her own in the movie. I think the problem with this movie is the fact that he is just truly not the Joker. Even in this movie, that's even that statement that he said, he's not the Joker. He even ended up saying, I'm not the Joker. I regret everything I did. I'm Arthur Fleck. I got gaslighted to being Joker. On the comments, he loves being Joker. He loves being the agent of chaos. He captured and beat down a Robin and Jason and ended up turning him into Red Hood. We all love Red Hood, but Jesus Christ. And did not stop there. Do you guys have any idea what he did to Barbara Gordon? He showed up to her house and shot her dead in the spine in broad daylight. And all of it was just to prove a point. He even stripped her clothes off and took pictures of it just to imply what could have happened. He single-handedly traumatized two vigilantes. One he actually killed and one he made wish for death. All this because he wanted Batman to himself. You see what happens when you let people into this game of ours? First off, I love Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. I just think that she's a very underrated actor. I think she's better than The Rock at least. But her Harley Quinn actually was not Harley Quinn. In my opinion, her Harley Quinn was actually the true Joker of this movie. Arthur Fleck is a truly weak man. Spoiler warning, but Arthur Fleck most likely would have beat the case. He would have beat his court case if it hadn't been for Harley Quinn. But the Joker isn't weak, or at least his Joker persona is not weak. But Arthur did not want to be Joker. He is not Joker, but he pretended to be just because Harley Quinn showed him a lick of attention, even risking prison or even worse. And ladies and gentlemen, that could not be me. It was Arthur Fleck though, a man weak enough to let it happen to begin with. I love Harley Quinn, I love Lady Gaga, but a woman starts telling you to start acting like a mass murderer, just say no. That's it for this video guys. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.